The hiring market is pretty frantic these days. And while that can mean opportunity, it can also mean companies aren't 100% honest when they advertise for workers. So we are filtering out the bad gigs before they begin by looking at job description red flags. Overhyped job descriptions can lead to tons of confusion when looking for a new job. What does this role actually do? What is the culture of the company that I'm going to be joining? Catherine Minshew, CEO of the job search website The Muse, has tips on how to sniff out job description red flags. Let's start with a long list of requirements. It's a job description that starts out interesting and then just keeps going and going and going and going. This can start by telling you what your role will be, the qualifications you need, and what you can expect. If it seems overwhelming, did the company have someone in this role before? Because you do want to make sure before you accept a job that the expectations that the employer has are realistic. You could show up for a job excited, only to discover that the company is expecting you to do the work of three people. If you are interested in pursuing it, when you get to that point where you're interviewing, ask what are the key responsibilities of this role? Next, upfront fees. Any job where they're requiring you to purchase equipment, submit an initiation fee before you've been paid is major red flags for me. Scammers use fake job postings and LinkedIn accounts to get people to believe they're applying for real remote work. No matter how good it seems, be very, very, very careful. The scammers say they will hire you, but you need to buy some equipment first from their qualified vendor website and they will reimburse you. You pay for the equipment on their fake website and they gotcha. That should definitely make you stop and reconsider or before you pull out your credit card as part of any job search process. Finally, hustle culture buzzwords. So things like high pressure environment, you know, looking for ninjas and rock stars. This is a signal of what the working culture is like, but not everybody has the same definition of high intensity environments. She says if you encounter any of these words, take a step back and decide if you can deal with it or if it's a deal breaker. So you assess whether this opportunity is a good fit. Signs it's time to take your business elsewhere.